Hey guys and welcome back to Nemoria. We are catching up with the Holy Slit exactly where I left off in the previous episode. Um, just fast forward a bit. Oh, got a bit of a, a clog here. You always got a clog in the butcher shop. It's generally like while the guys collecting the meat to make the sausages. Rough uh, edges. How's it going? This room's ready to be finished. How's the old food going? Food's going pretty well. 135 sandwiches. That alone should attract nomads. I shouldn't need to like upgrade this thing to attract nomads. The fact that I've got 100 and whatever it is sandwiches, that should be the driving force. Come on, did finish a job. Or take your time. Ah, there you go. See, don't let me take their time when they hurry up. Ugh, gnome logic. I need to get this area finished. Hospital looks kind of janky, <laughs> but. Uh, they won't be complaining when their lives are getting saved or their eyes are getting fixed or whatever it is. And like I said, we've not got enough uh, resources right now to... Jesus Christ, this is so loud down here. When you've got the guys beating the crap out of each other, you've got the... Uh, all of these people messing about with the crops. I'm gonna have to move away. Frickin' heck. Oh, there we go, there's another one getting made. Um, we are waiting on cotton. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, agriculture. The forage. Just don't know how to forage that little area there. I think it's nearly done as well. This bit's nearly finished as well. There's only a couple more pieces of wheat that need to grow. I'm oh, sorry, just scratching my arm there and walloping my mic. Um, we'll just get them to forage that as well. Ah, oh, Yak is born, therefore Yak will be dead. <laughs> it's kind of sick. I want to get, like, my gnomes have got a lot of stuff to do right now before I want to start mining, but I do want to mine eventually. So, like, I don't want to really mess about with it just now until the gnomes are kind of set up for what they need to do. Oh, look at that, is that some new... Oh wow, it is, it's some new armour. Oh, that's awesome. That's like the first piece of armour getting made. So we start to see our warriors wearing armour now. Yay, they'll be a bit safer. <laughs> um, eventually, Growny will get enough tinkering done that we'll get pistols for our militia. And then that'll be fucking epic. Oh, actually, that's what I forgot to do. Uh, squads, the hideous focuses, need a new member. I don't know if he's actually... I don't know. I don't know if he was a soldier. The Ripper Pads of Home. There you go, PJ the second. Uh, the Kicking Bee. Uh, Civil and... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, her Beaver Smurfs. And the Null Chanters the Duck. I slowly got dimp in it just now. But we'll shove Psycho and Plane into it as well. Perfect. And Odin Prime and Solo are still my uh, actual soldiers in, I forget the name of the squad now. Touchy Finders of Ponage. <laughs> uh, cracks me up. Right, so what's getting done just now? The bedrooms are still getting finished. The uh, Great Hall is still getting completed. Um, we basically need some more apple wood for that, to be honest. Uh, basically, because because of winter, we kind of it's always the same. Like you kind of go through your supplies of wood and stuff at winter, and uh, like you get a lot of stuff done because like there's nothing better for them to do apart from do stuff. If that makes any sense whatsoever. There's not much for them to do except for do stuff. Yep, the logic. Hmm, it really annoys me that they're not doing their, their, uh, their job with these slivers. I don't know what it is with this forge. Oh, but they are making copper bars, so... Regardless of what they're making them out of, they are making them. 
I think it's only the padding. Uh, the breast. Oh no. Oh wow, everything takes padding. Is that bad guy is coming for us now? Yep, hey, there's a couple of breastplate on someone now. Perfect. As far as I remember, I've got the. These guys are on the best defense right now. Which isn't really that good a job. Ugh, there's nothing else that would really suit them just now. Um. Oh yeah, he's got commander perk, obviously. Was it not like a taunt one? I mean, I'm sure there was a taunt one. Ugh, man, I must just be going crazy. Is it guard? No. Scout, Markstorm, Sharpshooter, Finisher, Knocking Down, so... Oh yeah, taunt! Alright, okay. I thought we had that on, I thought that was like a squad perk. It'd be good if it was a squad perk. One golden dead. Two golden dead. Last we get messaged on Facebook I think. Oh no! No! Oh god. Solo. It was one of our actual soldiers. So now we've only got Odin Prime. God damn it. This is probably like the last battle before we actually get a decent amount of soldiers. Um, so what I'm actually going to have to do is I'm going to go... Where is... Where's Inherior? Inherior... Oh god, I was wanting to take him off there. But Inherior is far too good a woodsmith. A wood... Dude. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to make Blaine a soldier. Yes, Blaine, it's time to redeem yourself for dying as much as you have. You're going to be a soldier and you're getting recruited to the Touchy Finders of Ponage. Why? Because we need two people for them to train. <laughs> so, it's pointless having a military squad without two people there. So there we go. At least we've got Blaine there. And stuff's actually getting made for them. Like They're going to get their armour, they're going to get their weapons eventually. As soon as the hand axe and the hammerhead are created, then I'll start placing orders for the copper weaponry. Well, I was saying that. I could get the sword and the shield created now. Uh, copper sword with a birch hilt. Constantly keep that at one, please. And a copper shield. Constantly create, keep that at one. And then the other two will get done eventually. The shield can probably get done right now. I mean, he's got the... Yeah, he's got the backing of the boss, so... Well, I think that was, like, a grief that, a grief that got made there or something. Look at this Blaine that got it. The equipment. No, he's got a helmet on. Did you get something, Odin Prime? Equipment. <laughs> yeah, he got a single gauntlet. That's funny. Uh, agriculture, forage. These three. I should be able to forage these things and just pick the seeds out of them. Eventually, the rest of this will get sorted anyway. I really needed to sort it to make it look a bit better. Um, within the next day we should get the um, the merchant as a 50 as far as I remember. Oh god, I really need to do some research on this game again. It's because I'm only doing, like, I'm, I'm playing it like very minimally each day, so I forget a lot of stuff to do with the game. We have got quite a lot of person quarters now though. So we only need two more and that's us finished and we've got 25, but we've only got 19 population so we've got more than enough for every member to have their own personal quarters, which is great. 
Uh, I still don't know. Ah, yeah. I was going to say, I still don't know why that's not done, but that's because the bandages get made first. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've only got 20 just now. So the sooner that gets sorted, the better. We could only just go into this Tinkerer's bench. Uh, you know what, actually? Um, how's Blaine? Blaine? Did you have my new engineer? Where are you? This is sick, <laughs> slightly. But Grownie's got to be my new soldier. And we've got military, squads. Where's Grownie? There you go. Blaine, you're gonna go in there and Grownie. You could go in here. That's right. <laughs> That's right, punk. You're gonna be my new, uh, my new warrior. And Blaine, you can actually tinker for me, which will be great. So someone will actually get tinkering done. I was thinking we we need tinkering done as soon as possible because then we can get the pistols that I can give to people. And as soon as the pistols are done, then that should cause a lot less of our. Uh, <clears throat> A lot less of our actual gnomes to die. Because they can maintain some distance while. Hey, he's got his sword and his shield. They can maintain some distance while the other gnomes are. Who's this? Is that Grownie? That is. That's a shame. He's got to get a drink in anyway. I actually feel bad because this guy won't get as much um, fight training. He will, however, get a lot of armour because there's no way that Grownie's going to beat him there. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of sad, but oh, that's an actual copper helm there for him. Oh well. Did the rest of this get made? No, not yet. Still needs copper bars. But unfortunately, there's only one blacksmith, so. But what? Fucking progress is getting made now. Finally. Um, farms are getting fixed. As soon as we get the merchant, we're going to try and get some alpacas. Because that way we can get a nice steady supply of wool. Or emus if we've got no alpacas, I prefer alpacas. Though. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to designate our pasture. Right here. And uh, we'll go for... Alpaca pasture. Uh, priority 5, sure. Any straw, max of... 2 males to 8 females. I think that's what we've got here, isn't it? Same. That's 2 males to 7 females, so... Build... Furniture trough. Boxite trough. And stick it there. Perfect. That one could actually do with being stuck there, which is really annoying. Uh, deconstruct that one. There we go. <laughs> it's actually annoying me that that wasn't in the right place. Hopefully we'll shove it there and steady on this other one. Yeah, good man. And then just move the food over. That'd be lovely. Oh, never mind then. Someone will sort that. One of the, uh, the ranchers will sort that for us. Or the rancher will sort that for us. What's the shack pass just out there? Five, that's, but that's up to two. Much care, I care more about my yaks and my alpacas, to be honest. I'm going to know he's just filling back up on the old uh, box of blocks, which I think he's actually finished with. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so he constantly keeps these two full of box of blocks when he's not doing anything else, which is the way it should be. What's this here? Ah, just two armor plates. That's got one piece of copper in it. Sorry, we've got like loads of fucking slivers and stuff, so we should be getting. We've actually got a fair chunk of ore. Oh, ah, oh, there's a merchant. 
as I said. Forge ore overflow contents. Yeah, 14 tin and 14 copper. I mean, come on. That means that we should get bronze soon as well, which will be good, because then we'll be able to upgrade everyone to bronze. There we go, Granny's finally getting out onto the, uh, the retraining grounds. He's one leg. A monitor lizard has been spotted. It's fine. Not too bothered about that. Oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting on. Market stall. Probably got a lot of shit we can sell. Like all these fucking yak hides. I don't need 202 yak hides. Alright, what we actually want is alpacas. And look at that. They actually have alpacas. Right, so that's what we need to get to. We need to get to K. At least. That clumps actually cost three. Jeez. Up his lizard eye. Uh, right. We want all your copper or all your tin or and all your silver. Or. We might not get to that, but we've got a lot of raw bauxite. I might actually start making and make um, statuettes, so that we've got stuff to trade. Copper or tin or. Yak hides, we don't need that many, so we'll send that over and we want 64 back, thanks. Um, right. Honey badger hides, we don't need at all. Cotton, obviously, we want. Strawberry seeds, just give us 1 to 8 back. Wheat seeds, just give us 1 to 8 back. Cotton seeds, just give us one to eight back. Birch clippings, you can have one. <laughs> Wheat grain, we're going to keep a hold of just now. Most of bread and meat and sandwiches. Masterful yak sandwich. Yak bones, we don't need that much. Just give us 64 back. Skulls, keep the skulls. We've got one silver bar. Great. Bolt manages some fucking sticks. Wheat straw. We really don't need that many, but we'll just keep it. Ah, oh, I can give you my training dummies though. That we don't need. Lots of one copper stuff, lots of slivers. 142 copper slivers, Jesus Christ. My wheelbarrows. Fit 930. What was that? I said I could have sold them. I was, there was something I was thinking, I was like, yeah, we could probably sell that stuff. We could sell them 70 yak milk, I suppose. And just take nothing. There we go. That's a decent enough trade. Trade that and we will set up um, the stone carver. What are you at? You should be at like fucking 15. But I want you to make uh, statuettes and make sure we've got 64. There we go. We've got lots of stone. Like I'm not worried about stone. There we go, and that'll give us something to sell anyway. So ranchers should, should grab these alpacas before they wander off and get themselves destroyed. There we go, perfect. And now we've got alpacas for wool. Yay, wool. We constantly make cotton bandages, but everything else can be made out of wool. Although I think I've told them to use cotton back and stuff. I don't think I did. Oh no, I did. Shit. Ah, God. Right. Helmets. Right, right. Copper, any, any. Craft to one. Breastplates. Copper, any, any. Craft to two. Pauldron. Copper, any, any. Craft to four. Greaves. Craft to four. Gauntlet. 
bits. Craft to four bits. Craft to four. Perfect. Because I don't want them using ex like specifically cotton for stuff when they could be using anything else. I'll get messaged like mad. Alright guys, and with that, um, we're going to call it an episode there. So as always, thanks a lot for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.